Welcome to the BetQL Daily Boost. I'm Lucy Burge of BetQL.com, and I am joined by Kate Constable and Casey Hudson, and we have an NBA odds boost for all of you today on Nikola Jokic to have over 29.5 points and over 9.5 rebounds at plus 175 at Caesars. A little value here. He just had 41 points in game two and 11 rebounds and he hits this over on rebounds quite a bit so i love the value in this office. yeah lucy quite a bit is kind of an understatement uh he's got over nine and a half rebounds in all but three games this entire postseason and Jokic has also gone over uh nine and a half in both games this series in terms of his points yeah 41 in the last game and if Miami looks to kind of take away Jokic's passing ability and his ability to facilitate the offense he should have another big night scoring wise because in that game two putting up 41 points I mean he wasn't able to find his teammates and they weren't knocking down shots so he kind of just took things into his own hands and said okay well I'll be the one to score so big number for him again tonight and I, I mean any little miss buckets around the rim maybe those result in some offensive rebounds that bolsters rebound prop a little bit so yeah love the value here i love the value too because i know some fans might be like after a 41 point night how do you get close to that again but it's the fact that we haven't seen this team we haven't seen Jokic have to respond in a high pressure situation since the first round versus the Suns and the first game that he had to kind of have that response he put up 29 points and 13 rebounds so even if it, it comes down just a little bit those passing lanes open up like you mentioned so beautifully Kate he's still so capable of hitting that over and facilitating his team so I like that a lot because I like the fact that this team's not going to go into this underestimating Miami we saw what it's like when you give Miami an inch they were counted out versus the Knicks they were counted out versus the Celtics and right now they're going to try to command and take a series lead and I think Yogi is going to try to minimize that margin very quickly so I love the over here and the top. definitely and I think Michael Malone is going to make sure of that and be like don't even don't underestimate anything don't yeah he's going to be so mad if they do because he's doing everything he can to keep that from happening so I think that won't happen and I love the value in this at plus 175 for him to do both of these things get in on that and get up to a thousand dollars in bonus bets on your first wager at BetMGM by entering code Lucy 1000 when you sign up for a new BetMGM account now and head to betql.com get your free three day trial today and check out our exclusive sports book offers there as well and of course follow us on Twitter at Kate Constable, at the Sports Case, and at Lucille Burge. Favorite bets for today, I'm going to Major League Baseball and Logan Webb to have over five and a half strikeouts against the Rockies. This is at plus money. So I'm like, what is going on here? It's plus 105 at BetMGM. He has hit this over in nine of his 12 starts this season. He finished last season with seven strikeouts against the Rockies in his final game uh, last year. He has hit this in his last three starts with six, 11, and seven strikeouts in those. So at five and a half at plus money, I, like that, that's too good to be true. So I like him to hit this over again, and I'm taking this for sure. That, yeah, sounds kind of too good to be true. Lucy, might have to jump on that with you. Uh, I'm going to go back to the NBA and take Jamal Murray to over six and a half assists tonight. This kind of correlates with what we talked about with Jokic because part of the Nuggets offense that's so tough to defend is the two-man game between Murray and Jokic in the pick and roll. And if Jokic is unable to, you know, kick things out to the perimeter or guys aren't knocking shots down once again and he's looking to score more a lot of those passes are going to be coming from Jamal Murray he's had 10 assists in both games so far 17 potential assists in game one 21 potential assists in game two and if Contavious Caldwell Pope and Michael Porter Jr. actually start hitting some shots uh, in this game three they have not been doing that in the first two games then that's going to add again to Murray's assist numbers because he has the ball in his hands more than anyone on that entire uh, Denver Nuggets team so over six and a half assists but you could also take it at you know eight nine ten for some plus money I think maybe a little escalator look on this one wouldn't be a bad idea love that I'm taking Adebayo at that minus 135 for over 18 and a half points um might find this a little risky but to have two 20 plus point games first of all versus Denver I think that he's somebody who's going to have to be consistent with putting up those points because the Miami Heat have realized that Denver's defense is nothing to play with and other guys have to step up 
Hence, Vincent also stepping up tremendously. So, while Adebayo, if I'm saying his name right, this is even risky to pick him because I hate saying his name. But <laughs> while he averaged 17 and a half points during the regular season, specifically versus Denver, he averages 20 and a half points. So, uh, I think it's different when you're trying to level the series versus take that series lead. And game threes are tremendous. So, they're going to have to continue with that theme of other guys helping out Jimmy Butler um, and trying to solve the defense that it is the Denver Nuggets. So, Adebayo over 18 and a half points for me today. That, I love that because Caesars yeah. also has another boost on Autobio that I was looking at also to go over on points as part of that. So there is faith Ooh. in him to do that and value in him to do that. So yeah. check that out along with this boost at plus 175 at Caesars and subscribe to the BetQL Daily Boost wherever you get your podcast.